So I talk a lot about the rubber band principle of innovation. And basically, it comes from a story about where macaroni and cheese, Kraft macaroni and cheese originated. And the story goes that there was a salesman in St. Louis and he was setting up a, um, a display for powdered cheese, which was Kraft's product. And he realized that people really weren't interested in powdered cheese. And he had this idea that if he could sell them a dinner instead of selling them a cheese product, he'd probably be more successful. And so he went and got a box of pasta and he rubber banded it to the package of cheese and created Kraft macaroni and cheese, which I think today still sells about a million boxes per day. And what I find is, is unique about this story is that you know, the powdered cheese was the product that Kraft Foods had. And actually, it was a very advanced technical product. They, they had figured out a way to dry uh, cheddar cheese. And this was important because when they were doing this, it was around the time of the Depression, and they needed to be able to store it and uh, transport it easily to make it cheap. But that's with like a lot of products. It's this, what's technically available. It's the technology. Um, but that, that wasn't really the innovation. Really, what the insight came is when the salesperson realized that what people wanted was a good dinner. That's where the value was. And so he had on you know, one hand some technology, on the other hand he, he knew what they wanted, what the customer needed. And what he did was he connected the two. And so if you think about it, the rubber band really is connecting the technology, the powdered cheese of Kraft Foods with the macaroni and cheese. And so innovation, one of the keys to finding unseen opportunities, is to connect the technology, to connect what's possible with what's valuable. And I think the sales forces in many companies are out there trying to figure out what is valuable, and the engineering departments are back working away trying to figure out the new technology. But really, the innovation comes when somebody can connect the two. You think about it, go ask you know, any engineer or designer in a company and say, what is the number one unspoken problem of your customers? And I bet you, quite frankly, most engineers couldn't even tell you the number one spoken question. And so they're really not connecting what they're creating with what is valuable. And if you look at sales and marketing, they're out there working with the customers trying to figure out what they say they need. And maybe they have some great insight into what the number one unspoken problem is. But they're not back in the shop creating. They're not figuring out what needs to be there. And I think if they were, they'd be able to make a lot more connections. And the innovation, I think, really comes in building those connections between what's possible and what is valuable. And so the rubber band, I think, represents that connectivity that's so key to innovation.